John, congratulations. Uh, must have been really, really happy with, with that performance, given you know, down a couple of votes before you even got there and, and, and the travel. Yeah, look, uh, as, as you've seen from us in the preseason, we had different guys injured at different times, and that was no different than tonight. And uh, everyone stepped up, and as you saw statistically, we had a lot of contributors across the board. You laughed at me at the airport yesterday when I was mentioning the, 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 the challenge of the travel on kind of back to back games and without folks. Um, is it no excuses policy that you're sort of trying to really implement in this group? Oh, look, absolutely. It's, it's your individual and the team mindset to all of that. Like, Cairns had, had the same travel. Like, they played the same day we played the last game. They had to do the same thing. So uh, it was all about our mentality and how we wanted to approach it. Last time to be for a lot of players, I'd like to see next year to finish 350 and start the way he did. Did you put emphasis on the milestone for this group to make sure that you did him the, the justice and the credit that he deserves? Uh, it really didn't didn't mention it at all. Um, just from my experience, when players have milestones, they just naturally want to play well in a milestone game. Uh, I think his teammates did a great job of getting him the ball early, and look, he capitalised by making the shots. What does he mean to this group? Talk him up while he's sitting next to you. <laughs> look, it, our, our group from top to bottom. Uh, the approach that they bring in every day. I've been fortunate enough to know him since he was about 17 years old, and just to see him mature and grow. Um, you would probably say he hasn't shot the ball at the beginning of the season very well, but he stayed with it. Uh, hopefully, I've given him some confidence with that. Uh, and then tonight, like it was only a matter of time before some of our shooters started making shots. And I'll tell you, it was nice to see it go through. And. Uh, you, you see us at practice, like our guys stay behind, they put in the extra work, they put in the time and effort, so at some stage you will get rewarded. Guys, what does tonight mean to you personally from a milestone perspective and, and from a win perspective? Obviously you're going to talk about the team, but it is, it is a big day for you personally. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely, I'm very fortunate to see 350, 350 games in this league. It's a very good league and I guess it, to see it where it was to, to where it is now, it, um, it's still it's pretty special to be a part of. But yeah, as you said, I think tonight we were down down two guys, but that's the beauty of this group. It, we've got such a deep group, and when your number's called, everyone's ready to step up and play. Like you saw, you know, Mike Harris stepped up, made some big shots tonight when you know he wasn't even sure if he was coming on the road. So that sums up our group. You know, such a really good really good win for us. But you know, quick quick turnaround, recovery is important. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll enjoy the win tonight. Hey, Mikey. Uh, Blanche, congratulations. Um, it was kind of fitting in a way that it turned out your milestone game was, was here. It's probably the closest venue to home for you. Were you able to get some family and friends into the building? And now that the game's done, were you get some sort of a chance to, to celebrate tonight? Yeah, I had my uh, my wife flew from uh, from Perth. Uh, my parents came up from Mackay. Also, Jess's parents and one of my mates drove up as well. Obviously, tough being a Monday night, but yeah, obviously being in Cairns definitely helped, but yeah, it was pretty special uh, to have those guys here. What does it mean to you to get to celebrate what you've done? I mean, you don't get much time to reflect because you turn your attention to, to the next game pretty quickly, but if you do get a little bit of a chance to reflect it, are you pretty proud of what you've been able to do over these 350 games? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. It's, um, it's as I said, to sort of be a part of the league to... I remember, I can't exactly remember how old I was, but waking up, I was eating my future grain in the off season one time and I saw on Fox Sports that, you know, the Crocs had folded, weren't even sure that was going to be an NBL to sort of see where the league is now, to sort of be through that, to go through that low to, and now to ride that, that high and be a part of this, this league, it's, it's pretty special. And yeah, I'm definitely fortunate to be able to see 350 games because yeah, to be able to do this as a job and do what you love every day is, it's, it's pretty special. You must be ex pretty excited about what this team is going to be capable of this season as well. We've seen it over the first, you know, three games, and now you you shot the ball really well as a team tonight. You must be you must be pretty excited. For sure, and you know, it's this team. Our team is, as I spoke about before, the depth of this group. It's we can play one through 11, 12 if we need to. It's and you know, injuries, fouls. You know, there's a lot of factors that go into a season. It's never going to be uh, never going to be perfect. So, yeah, to get a, ro a win like that on the road is uh, is really special. And John, just one for you. You must have been delighted in so much of what you saw out there tonight. The shots fell, but you forced them into a lot of turnovers. You were able to capitalise on that. 
And you had a lot of guys step up. Mitch ran the team really well. Brady played in his best game. You know, Blanche had a big night. Bryce had a big night. And, and Jesse again stepped up. And you know, Luke Travis did what he did. Michael Harris came on and hit a couple of threes. You had so many guys step up and had really good nights. Yeah, look, uh, ever since I got the job uh, and started taking over this group, I've preached unselfishness, playing team, and making the best play for your teammate and giving them confidence. That's the way we approach it every day. Uh, you know, when you talk about uh, Todd and, and Brady about their shooting, like, they're, they're great shooters. And I always say, water finds its level. So uh, I never lost faith. I wanted him to continue shooting because it's going to happen. And then tonight, uh, we saw the depth of our team, the versatility. But the, the thing that I'm happy about right now is the way we're defending. We're doing a great job. We're disruptive. We're creating turnovers that allows our offense uh, to get down the other end and, and play a fun style. Yeah, thank you. It's Andrew Canyon from NBA Pocket Podcast. Uh, John, just a question for you. Is picking up that, that mention of defense. I noticed in the third quarter at about four minutes, Kyle Zunig really stepped up defensively on the perimeter and just carried carried a hand perfectly on the ball. You seem particularly pumped up pumped up about it. Is that something you're trying to instill in the whole team? Oh, look, absolutely. But uh, Mitch Norton and Kyle Zunick are the guys that set the tone for that. Um, you know, Mitch is really starting to come into his own over the last couple of games with setting a presence. And then Zunick, it's great. I can get Norton out for a quick blow and Zunick comes in and, and picks it right up. So uh, I think he played a, a great NBL one season. Uh, so the confidence is just carried over. Uh, and I try and keep his role pretty simple. So hopefully that helps him out when he gets out on the floor. Thanks, John. And uh, just one for Todd. Um, having played now 350, do you feel like you're still you know, at the peak of your game? You seem to be looking pretty comfortable out there. Have you been into Jesse Wakes after rejuvenation? <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, um, 30 feels better than 29 because I had surgery this time last year. So, yeah, I mean, body feels great. It's, um, yeah, I mean, every, every day you get to come in and do what you love and look at it and try and come in and get, get better somehow, you know, whether it's recovery, shooting, whatever it might be. It's, um, yeah, it's just a privilege to be able to come in and do that every day. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. I'll leave it at that. And just one final one for you before you finish up. Um, to Sean and Corey, is there any update on either? Is Corey still playing to come home tomorrow and you know how, how to Sean's ankle is? We just got done with the game, Craig. I'll worry about that in about 10 minutes. But Webster, Webster for sure will be playing. Uh, Tayshawn is looking very promising. And with Brady Manning, okay, he came off looking pretty sore when he hit the ground in the yard. Yeah, we all recover from that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Count them, don't rob them. Yep.